If you want to pursue your masters in applied computing from the top university of Canada, then this video is for you. Hey everyone, I am your average guide Sahil Gogna. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to look into masters of science in applied computing offered at the University of Toronto. So without any delay, let's get started. Hi Sumit, first of all, thanks a lot for sparing your time and joining the call today. Yeah, no, thanks for uh, doing such videos so that other people can get help and thanks for inviting me. It's my pleasure, Sumit. Can you please introduce yourself to the audience? I mean, I want to know your educational as well as your professional background. So, my name is Sumit Ranka. I am from India, Nagpur mainly, Orange City. Uh, I did my bachelor's from IIT Guwahati uh, and graduated in 2017 in computer science and engineering. Uh, after that, I wanted to explore the area of industrial research. So I joined Samsung at Bangalore. And from that experience, I realized that certain skills still needed some strengthening and some you know, in-depth knowledge. So I decided to pursue my master's from the University of Toronto. Yeah, uh, and then after that, you know, I did some internship at Phenomic AI. It's a startup, and then I joined Huawei as an associate researcher. After like an amazing one and a half year, I then I'm currently a data and applied scientist at Microsoft Vancouver. That's an amazing journey, Sumit. And Sumit, while you were applying for the master's program here in Canada, which other universities did you consider? And why did you choose the uh, University of Toronto? So while I was applying for master's, so my main idea of master's was like, you would find people applying for like 10, 12 colleges. But my idea of master's was, if I want to do it, I'll only go for colleges which I really want to. Like, I only applied for six colleges, but they were all ambitious because I was like, karna hai, nahi karna hai, nahi nahi karna hai. So in Canada, I applied for U of T, but I had also considered uh, University of British Columbia and uh, McGill because they are like amazing universities and University of Waterloo. But the program that was there in University of Toronto, uh, M uh, MSCAC, that was very much closer to what I wanted to do. Uh, like my academic research ka zada interest nahi hai. I'm more of taking already done research or come up with a new ideas that can be applied for industrial real life problems. And utna rigorous research karna, papers publish karna, ya, na, you know, like jay, ek, ek, academic research environment mein hota hai ki ek rigorous nature hota hai, proof of concept, wo sab, wo sab mein utna zada interest nahi hai. Unless and until it, the, prob, the solution gets deployed, then I get the satisfaction of my work. So the program Master of Science in Applied Computing was very much catered to that. Like do your coursework, take eight months of internship in an industry and submit that as a report to get graduated. So that was like my main aim for doing in the University of Toronto. And Sumit, if we talk about the admission requirements, so were there any speci specific things that the University of Toronto was asking? And uh, if we talk about the profile building, so what are the key areas that you would suggest the viewers to focus on if they want to get an offer from top university like University of Toronto? A requirement of uh, English exams like GRE, TOEFL, in some cases IELTS is required but that very much depends on program to program and department to department so and all these informations are available on, on university of toronto website but but most of them like GRE TOEFL is necessary like ye maximum low ka hota hai. Uh, but in certain universities they do give you exemptions if you if your like high school education and your education through your university was in english medium then they sometimes give you exemptions so other than this a uh, statement of purpose that is sop and a uh, letter of recommendation that is lor are also really really important like these two are like the most important like english exams like i would say come afterwards and statement of purpose like kabhi -kabhi aisa ho jata hai ki, you know the area that you wanted to work in doesn't suit but you wanted to go to another area or because of some issues you didn't get good cgpa or because like kuch upar niche ho jata hai so statement of purpose you know gives you the whole journey as to why masters and why you are the best candidate and why the university should choose you and if something upper niche hua hai apne life mein, so what's the reason why that happened? CPA kam hai to kyu kam hai, but you're still motivated and why they should select you. So ye kuch clarification is like statement of purpose is like, main kya hu aur mujhe tum kyu choose karo and sub application why I'm the best. Because like acceptance ratios are, are sometimes in single digit or like lower 
lower tens of digits so you have to be the best among all so and that is a letter of recommendation is the people verifying you so who knows you very well unse tum like a letter of recommendation lo and these become the basis how you would apply for a masters so guys before we move forward please make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel to show the support i am doing my part by reaching a lot of industry professionals and now it's your turn to show some love and support to the channel let's grow together as a community so that we can cover a lot more industries and we can reach a lot more industry professionals and sumit isme koi doubt nahi hai ki university of toronto is the top university in canada but ek cheez hai ki bahut sare students aise hote hain jo middle class background se aate hain and they find it difficult to pay the fees right so i would like to know like what was the fees for this program and is there any scope of scholarship so like so generally there are like two categories of programs one is academic program and one is professional programs Okay. so academic programs generally gets uh, uh generally get funded and have stipend with them so they but the, that again depends on department to department like in computer science msc and phd are funded and and on top of that they do get some stipend but like professional program which is like msc is because this at the end is not like you don't have to you know have some papers or publish because it's your industry report and you're not like like you are like you're not working closely with the university the professional requ- professional program here and also the thing is you are doing an 8 month internship so there is a high like there is a high chance and expectation that the company pays you so that's why this is self funded the fees for mscs in my case for the whole 16 months was 55000 canadian dollars that at today's state like around comes to around 30 lakhs so and then on top of that some expenses to so wo around chala gaya like you can add up like 10 lakhs on top of it i think so like around mm-hmm. 40 45 lakhs i think chala gaya tha pura travel cost agar tumhe ghar wagera jana hai kind of consider karke like in my case this internship stipend was good that covered the whole fees and like as i did one year at samsung so i had some savings from that mm-hmm. and then there was support from my parents as well so in an all like full cover ho gaya tha but when you are doing a like a university funded master or phd program then in those cases like you get stipend you you can even save a couple of 100 dollars as well uh otherwise but i had still taken an education loan from state bank and uh, so so initially for the fees i t- i took loan and and then during the my, during my course of internship i started paying that back aur sumit agar hum aapke specialization ki baat kare which is machine learning so how is the university of toronto for machine learning aspirants and how was your overall experience as a student at the university so like university of toronto is i would say like the birthplace of deep learning because the jeffrey intern who is sometimes considered as a godfather of deep learning and who got turing award in this area as well he he was te- he was a professor in university of toronto and his team his lab uh, published the deep learning papers from the university of toronto so i would say like <laughs> i i could be biased but like i would say machine learning like this is the best place and even in toronto like there's so many startups in machine learning there are so many startups and that too they're working in different areas you know self tra- uh, autonomous driving health uh or uh, automation of services and then computer vision mobile devices like in different different areas cos cosmetic industries mining like you can like there's a banking financial industry like like a vast domains of applications of machine learning so and and it's a, like a very small community here like it's very easy you know like sometimes to bump into a machine learning professors when you're walking a down you know so avenue so and like that gives you a sense of you know you know being so close to the amazing work that is going on in machine learning by like just being a part of university of toronto so like, i i i found it like an amazing experience and sumit one thing i'm particularly interested is how did you choose your subjects so आपको पहले से क्लियर था कि आपको एम एल इंजीनियर बनना है तो आपने उस हिसाब से सब्जेक्ट चूज करिए या फिर आपने बहुत सारे सब्जेक्ट्स को पहले एक्सप्लोर करा देन यू डिसाइडेड नहीं कि अब मेरे को एम एल साइड जाना है बिकॉज मैंने और काफ़ी चीज़ों में एक्सपीरियंस कर लिया है क्योंकि बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स ऐसे ऐसे होते हैं जो एम एल साइड सिर्फ इसीलिए जाते हैं क्योंकि ये आजकल शॉर्ट ऑफ कूल वर्ड्स हैं इंडस्ट्री में लाइक like, उन, उनका इंटरेस्ट इनिशियली होता नहीं है बट दे आर लाइक ओके एवरी वन इज़ डूइंग इट सो आई विल जस्ट टेक दिस प्रोग्राम एंड आई विल जस्ट गो हैड इन इन दिस फील्ड सो so, आपका क्या सीन था क्या आपको पहले से क्लियर था या फिर आपने थोड़े और सब्जेक्ट से एक्सपेरिमेंट करा एंड देन यू डिसाइडेड सो व्हेन आई वाज डूइंग माय अंडरग्रेड आई वाज लाइक 
नहीं ये मशीन लर्निंग ये अपना ही रहा नहीं बिकॉज लाइक ड्यूरिंग माई अंडर ग्रेजुएट आई वॉज लाइक वेरी मच एक्सप्लोरिंग आई हैड वर्क ऑन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड दैट वॉज लाइक लाइक ड्यूरिंग माई फोर ईयर्स आई वॉज लाइक येस कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इज द एरिया टू गो एंड देन आई हैड टू नो एक्सप्लोर क्रिप्टोग्राफी आई हैड एक्सप्लोर सिस्टम्स हार्डवेयर भी लाइक लाइक आई हैड लाइक अ की बोर्ड एंड अमाउस जो ओपन करता था एंड लाइक कुछ तो करना है एंड लाइक लैपटॉप खोल के कुछ करना है लाइक इवन हार्डवेयर बस but then uh, then i joined samsung and then i i had this problem where we were working on where uh, like smart speakers where you had to deploy voice activity detection so that gave me a sense of you know very much liking liking towards machine learning but us time then there was also this like not a new area but you know market products were coming of virtual reality so when i got accepted for master at university of toronto i came here and then i saw like a whole set of courses out there so i started exploring so that's why you know i um wow oh, oh, i I'm not uh, able to recall the exact name, but that the course was a PhD level course, seminar course for virtual reality, and then I took basic machine learning course because that I had not taken during my undergrad, and then I even explored uh, some finance courses. So that gives a sense, you know, an idea that you should have some depth in your subjects. and some breath so that you are able to explore what actually my passion is uh, the buzz words yes but the, then the buzz words are like yeah cool to say cool to write in your resume but will that buzz word and then just that peer pressure will take you how far in your professional life that you have to see if you just want to be in that buzzing stage ah mai machine learning mein kaam kar raha hu types fine go ahead if you are just happy with that but if you really want to go far in that area then really explore it because there are amazing coming like i mentioned like machine learning is used in so many areas and see machine learning ke liye gpu kitna important hai uske bina koi model train nahi hota so wo kaha kaun dega you are working on cloud you need security and privacy ka itna bada issue chal raha hai aajkal uh हैकिंग होती है कि डेटा प्राइवेसी ढूंढनी है सो ऑल दीज एरिया टू दैट दीज आर ऑल्सो वेरी डिमांडिंग एरिया बट इतना है कि येस दे आर नॉट द फ्रंट फेसिंग बट दीज आर ऑल्सो रियली इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज उसके बिना बाकी एरिया कैन नॉट एग्जिस्ट राइट दे आर ऑल दीज एरिया आर ऑल इंटर कनेक्टेड एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन देयर ओन रिस्पेक्ट सो वेन आई टू कोर्सेस आई हैड दिस आइडिया दैट आई विल एक्सप्लोर द ब्रेड एंड ऑल्सो टेक केयर ऑफ द डेप so dev mm-hmm. when i did my initial courses in machine learning i really liked that area and here everybody was so inspired about the area of machine learning so then in my second uh, second semester like machine learning also has its own sub domains you know computer vision uh, natural language processing uh a speech uh speech processing so in the second semester i took two courses one was machine learning specifically for health and natural language processing to get an idea of, of what my liking and then we went then uh, i liked it and then i could went ahead with computer vision yahan aane se pehle canada aane se pehle kafi students ko aisa lagta tha ki jitni badi university mein jayenge utni zyada i mean you know there's a concept of on campus placements in india कि जैसे आई आई टीज है तो यहाँ पे टीयर वन की कंपनीज आती हैं सो so, अगर आप किसी दूसरे लोकल कॉलेज में चले जाए टी एथ्री कॉलेज में तो जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज कम होती हैं क्योंकि ऑन कैंपस प्लेसमेंट्स वहाँ पे बहुत कम कंपनीज विजिट करती हैं बट हेयर द कंसेप्ट इज डिफरेंट हेयर यू हैव टू नेटवर्क इवन इफ़ यू आर फ्राम द टॉप यूनिवर्सिटी लाइक यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टोरटो राइट तो इसके ऊपर आप थोड़ी सी लाइट डालिए आप ऑडियंस को बताइए क्योंकि मैं उन्हें बताता हूँ कि इट्स ऑल अबाउट नेटवर्किंग लाइक यू समटाइम्स यू हैव टू अप्रोच द रिक्रूटर to get a job and present yourself right to mere ko pata hai aapki jo current profile hai ki aapne networking ke through liya but i would like you to tell the audience all about the networking and how to approach the companies and what's the placement scenario here in canada sure definitely see in india i would say the the job offers an opportunity or like kind of spoon fed you know company exactly. aa rahi hai tum apply kar rahe ho and wo tumhe job offer de rahe hai you know sab kuch like you know even the salary is like pre negotiated stuff but here the thing is different here yes companies will come and say hey we have some job mm-hmm. they will do a career fair but they are not going to come specifically for you or for your department or for your university it going to be generic students from all university of all department would be coming and, and from all diverse experience will be coming and applying for that job so what you have so over there and like you said big university but that doesn't like big university yes but that big university gives you 
a strong foundation in studies. They don't say a big university, so you will have a big offer. ये नहीं है यहाँ. So so here when you are in a big university, it means you have a lot of room to cover in terms of network. That is a one of a very big important of being from a good a big university. You know, you have a large alumni network that you can connect to. They say, "Hey, I am from University of Toronto. Oh, you are also from University of Toronto. Great. That's like a." first start of conversation that you get like i have a mask from university of toronto and sometimes when you're going down the road so like oh you're from university of toronto nice so that kind of becomes a first ice breaker sometimes so what happens is like networking becomes important because you know those will help you out. like from an, for example recruiter if you know some recruiters they would like oh they would also they would also be knowing 10 different recruiters right so it would help you oh see i know this guy he's really good you can consider him for this opportunity and and this career fairs career fairs or you know some kind of casual board game nights or some outing that might happen or like all hands meeting that might happen at department level or research group level or university level this helps you in connecting with each other and over there you share your contact you connect them over linkedin you some you talk you get to meet to each other over coffee so this has helped me in you know getting to know people like across different industries so that if i ever want to know what amazing work is going on or if they know that hey this person is interested in that kind of work maybe i can approach that guy so such kind of concepts come up and then you have you know people that you know and you also get to know different kind of amazing work that is going on in different companies so through this you know you build your network and you and now like i said men- like i mentioned so this becomes very important in going forward in industry to getting and landing a job after university because otherwise you would be in the job applicant pool of thousands shayad i don't know wo kaise filter out karte honge but agar randomly filter karte honge या कुछ क्राइटेरिया लगाते होंगे तो यस यू क्रॉस दैट क्राइटेरिया एंड दे सॉ सम टॉप 100 रेज्यूमेस एंड देन यू मे बी सेलेक्ट बट रेफर लाइक लाइक एक्चुअली आई लैंडेड माय जॉब एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ रेफर सो माय मैनेजर्स मैनेजर ही ही वाज ही वाज ऑन लिंक्डइन एंड आई डिडंट नो हिम बट ही हैड पोस्टेड एंड एंड हिज म्यूचुअल लाइक his and my, like we had a mutual connection so someone had liked his post and that got bumped up on on my feed so it's like oh this looks a really interesting opportunity so and, and he is like a uh, general manager at microsoft that's like like he has like 50 or 60 people under him i think so uh and then i approached him and said hey my profile is so and so and this job opportunity is very close to what i am interested in and he was like yeah sure and then he forwarded my email and resume to the hiring manager and then i was scheduled for interview and it was like so quick if i had applied for a common job but i don't think it would have been that and because you get your like you know procedure khatam hoti hai people get hired and uske ek do mahine ke baad jab wo job position close karte then you get a rejection email hey sorry we, we are going forward with other candidates like oh maine kab apply kiya tha oh months back apply kiya tha so this sometimes happened but referral is like like a wild card entry to this job so it's so networking is um, really important well i guess that's it for today's talk so me thanks a lot for sparing our time aur aaj humne bahut hi achhi topics pe discussion kari be it networking be it choosing a university how we should actually get into ml and everything so seriously mere ko bahut kuch seekhne ko mila and i think this interview is the gold mine for anyone who is looking into academic or the industrial perspective of ml thanks a lot so much for your valuable time so guys if you have reached till this point i am pretty sure you must have liked the video and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe the channel to show your support let's grow together as a community please make sure to go in the comment section below and let me know what type of videos do you want me to make do you want me to cover more of universities or do you want me to invite the industry professionals see you in the next video till then stay safe